旅人さんちょうどよかったですキャサリン何かあったのかはい旅人さんたちにご協力いただきたい大事件が起きてしまったのですこれは緊急任務となります旅人さん昨晩流星群がありましたその範囲は広くモンドとリーユへの周辺に影響を及ぼしました落下した隕石には変わった力がありまして触れたものを昏睡状態にしてしまうのです非常に危険だと教会はそう判断しましたうわあ大変なことになってるみたいだな我々にとってこういった状況は初めてですそのため教会は多忙を極めておりそれゆえ皆さんの協力が必要なのですお待ちください念のためキャサリン夕夜浄土の民よ私の名を呼んだのはあなたかしらあ来てくれたんですねまたお会いしましたねキャサリン様うわこのカラス話せるのか<笑>驚く必要はありませんよ我が親族よそのように顔を曇らせているのはモンドの平和を脅かす罪深き者がまた現れたからかしら旅人さんこちらは冒険者協会モンド支部のメンバーフィッシュルさんですフィッシュルさんオズさんこちらが例の旅人さんですふーんあなたがねふん<笑>セピロス騎士団の栄誉騎士様とその仲間のパイモン様お会いできて光栄です旅人あなたも深き闇の結晶に裁きを下すつもりなのえ闇闇に裁きを下す隕石という意味です。流星群の原因とその影響がまだ判明していないので皆さんには2人1組で行動していただきたいのです旅人さんフィッシュルさん身の安全を優先しつつ支え合いながら行動してください<笑>それがキャサリンの願いなら聞いてあげなくもないわ喜びなさいこの断罪の公女フィッシュルと共に旅できること光栄に思うことねこちらは我が主異界雄夜浄土の公女フィッシュル様私はその眷属のカラスオズでございますななんかすごそうだなオイラはパイモンこいつは旅人よろしくな徐々に分かってくると思いますフィッシュルさんと一緒にいれば旅人のあなたが夕夜浄土の凄さを知らないのは想定のうちだし許してあげるわ許すよろしくという意味ですさっきから漫才してるみたいだなこの二人ボケる主人と突っ込む剣族おかしいぞ聞きたいことがあるようですね歩きながら話しましょうかこれ二人一組じゃなくて四人一組だな。Now, Catherine said that this is the closest in the situation. Looks even worse than ring the bells. 
Sound the trumpets, for the day of judgment is upon us. Rejoice, all ye who cry out for salvation, for the princess in death of Ertalung has come. This princess lady seems really enthusiastic. Dear mortals, in this dark hour, your princessin permits you to forego the usual etiquette and simply relate... Uh, it, it, we come in peace, good sir. We were just hoping that you could reveal whatever you know about this poor victim's... Wait, wait! Stop! Let Paimon explain! We're from the Adventurer's Guild. They commissioned us to come here and investigate after the meteor shower. Oh, I see. Well... Last night, this fellow touched the meteorite, and then he fainted just moments later. So, however you plan to conduct your investigation... What ridiculous remonstration is this? Is one not under the divine protection of one's Edelstein der Dunkelheit, and thus impervious to the trifling threat posed by this petty piece of black crystal? On the contrary, Mame Fräulein, wise is the princess who is... Is that so? Very well, then. One shall proceed as advised. That goes for you, too. Wise is the adventurer who is receptive to the sound advice offered by smart people. <laughs> Paimon never gets to talk like that. Oh, Paimon hmm. could get used to it, No, Paimon. I'm gonna put it in so that it's like a pendejo. You dare to parrot the parlance ah, of the cierto, princess? Amarilla, no sé por qué se pone... What could one hope to Así comprehend the cámara. lamenting of a thousand dying worlds with the sagacity of a mere mortal? Perhaps it is better that you remain in blissful ignorance, for the burden of fate borne by the princess and Defa Ertelang would surely be too much for thy shoulder. Mm -hmm. Look! Another pray tell, O oh knight, what tragedy befell the... Um, he, he's been sleeping all day and shows no signs of waking up. And not that I've seen so far, although occasionally he talks in his... <sighs> Can't go on. What's going on? His dark dream harbors a forbidden fruit, poised between the jaws of a ferocious beast. Woe betide the weak, should they peer into its eyes, as black as a moonless midnight, for they shall surely be lured into the abyss. Do you mean there's something luring him in his dream? Though we have no evidence to prove it, Main Fräulein's intuition has never failed her. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep investigating. <laughs> Greetings. I am Sister Edna. I am here to nurse the sick. State your name at once, you heinous heathen of nefarious- My apologies. Main Fräulein was not addressing you. This man lying on the ground, has he spoken? I believe he said something about having to get back to work. The wine. Uh, the, the wine. He seems to be sleeping deeply indeed. This is no ordinary dream. This man, he has been cursed. Can't you just wake him up? I've tried. He awoke once for a brief moment, but quickly lapsed back into sleep. Um, did he tell you anything? What he said he dreamed he was on top of a mountain, and it was very cold there. Mm. This has the trappings of a cruel, cold curse by a mountain-dwelling demon. Alas, one fears these demons have descended from... This is a most grave state of affairs. But fear not, for damnation is mine to dispense. Uh, sorry to interrupt you folks. Do you have a moment to spare? Uh, oh, hey, Draft. It's... I... <laughs> I can hardly get the word. One of the meteorites struck the hill behind our village. Alan told everyone he was going to go see it for himself. And then, sure enough, he just... You've seen how dangerous these confounded meteorites are. I'm afraid something may have happened to him. Could you come with me to find him and bring him back? Uh, wait. Sheep. So, big blazing rocks fall out of the sky. And all Alan's worried about is missing out on the act? Exactly. Once we get that rascal back safely, he's due for the scolding of- Paimon could not agree more. 
Let's go find that rascal and drag him back by the ears. That's him! Alan! What the devil are you doing? These guys are so vicious! Do you think it has to do with the meteorite? The hour of judgment has come. The threat of your fate lie in my hands. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was... You fool! What were you thinking? Gallivanting off on your own at a time like this? I I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Chico Mono. I sincerely apologize for the trouble Alan has caused for you all. I will make absolutely sure that he learns his lesson. Yeah, next time you think about doing something stupid, think again. Paimon's gonna go take a closer look. Huh? Princess, your vision is flashing. Oh, could it be perchance that mine Edelstein der Dunkelheit portends the certain demise of this unholy hex of cold? Maybe? What kind of things does your vision react to exactly? The profoundest of enigmas. The whispered secrets of the stars. Unholy hexes of demon bones. What? Why do you have to talk so funny all the time? Our apologies. Main Fräulein is not well versed in the parlance of the comp. Oh, so that's what you're for. To translate? I fear you misunderstand. I am no translator, but a humble conveyor of Main Fräulein's royal will. I would venture that what her vision is reacting to... <laughs> Thank you, Oz. Those whose minds are muddled by the mundane matters of this woeful world are unable to fathom my noble intent as swiftly as thou art. <laughs> so, there's elemental energy in the meteorite, and your vision flashes in response to it? Paimon thinks... probably yes? Uh, anyway, no harm in giving it a try. Let's look for shards of meteorite using Fischl's vision. Clearing them away will help make the area less dangerous. Mali. That seems to be the last of them. Do you think getting rid of them will help make things better for the Springvale villagers? The question is, are these shards of meteorite, which are infused with elemental energy, the true source of the calamity? Verily I say. These meteorites are surely the source of the nefarious nightmares that assail my subjects. This I swear on my very sovereignty. Yeah, let's do that. Edna! Uh, we got rid of the meteorite up on the hill behind the village. How are the victims doing now? Bless you. Thanks to your efforts, two of the victims have already awoken. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. Great, so it did work! I do hope you are able to dispose of the rest of the meteorites around the village. This is wonderful news. It gladdens the heart. <laughs> it is most gladdening indeed. Yet the news that I would be attending to this matter in person was surely the only guarantee. Hey, you just woke up, right? And. What were you dreaming about? All I remember is that it was cold. I was walking along a mountain path. In the ice and snow, I think. So, just hiking in the mountains? Or were you supposed to have a, a destination? Uh, I r really don't know. In my dream, it felt like I wasn't in full control of my actions. Then thou wert surely cursed, I say. Oh, wretched scourge upon this land. Well, whatever the case, what we do know is that getting rid of the meteorite shards is helping. So come on, guys. We need to redouble our efforts. <coughs> Parece que Catherine eh, del Grimo de Meteorón necesita ayuda, dice. Reito, después de recoger los fragmentos de meteoritos junto a la princesa, parece que el insomnio comenzó a remitir, dice, como, nuestro, como muestran la realidad de la gente... Ofrece sus más sinceros deseos, pero el viaje todavía no termina. Esta bendición les acompañará a todos su travesía hasta el siguiente destino. Draft, how are things in the village now? Ah, it's you again. A little better, thanks. 
Oh, and we owe it all to you. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is doing the trick. Traveler, your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you to seek me once more. Now, prepare to depart, for we are soon to meet with an envoy of mine further afield. Envoy? Okay. You mean a, a diplomat or something? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there by the name of... Adeline invites you to meet with her as honored guests of the winery. Adeline? Oh, we know Adeline. She's the head housemaid there, right? Ah, it seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted then. Then it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. No, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, etc. All right. My dear friends, it is time to move out. Hyman hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Is a Paimon con piensan comida? Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite. You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Dearest Adeland, on behalf of Her Majesty Miss Fischl, the Princess in de Varotalong, and I, mine Fräulein's humble servant. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. <laughs> My goodness. An adventurer of such distinguished status. Okay. My pale-faced proselyte, how dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? In fact, one of our employees hmm. here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. I hear that you were the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now awake. We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to... Aw, oh, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would... You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants. Hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, so what she's trying to say is, y you're welcome. I applaud mm -hmm. your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. The hmm. business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday. But as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorite struck. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be, vale, all I can do is ask for assistance. Okie dokie. Don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liwa. There were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz you, ben. and Ben. Hello. Have you seen any Mondstadt merchants traveling through here? Ah. Oh. I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. I'm not the right person to ask. Oh, uh, okay. Hello. We're looking for a couple of cards originally from Mondstadt. Have you seen them? From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I did see one pass through. Really? Which one? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was going towards Mondstadt. Thanks, mister. Now to chase down that cart. Yikes! There are so many of them! 
Ellos los están atacando. Vale, ¿y ahora? You scared me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through. So, which one are you, Ben? Uh -huh. uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Uh, per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and. Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. It got hit by a meteorite, so. <laughs> Anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about getting ambushed by monsters along the way. Hmm. I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been out there a long time. Now, I keep worrying that the same thing will have happened to him. Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave it to us. Lead the way, my pale-faced proselyte. For her sharp pain now afflicts my... What the... F Is the him? guy on the floor sleeping? I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Looks like he touched the meteorite. Just like the others. If by meteorite, you mean the rock that struck the cart. <laughs> Worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others. Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? One has witnessed with one's own Ogda Verertalung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has caused great suffering for the humble peasants in the Vale of Springdom, many of whom still battle this wretched affliction even as they Fräulein most eloquently describes. We have just come from Mondstadt, where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And we've already met Ben. So this one must be Fritz. Given mm -hmm. that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features, I must conclude that Paimon is blessed with... Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon just has a really great memory. Sí, You're te right, though, his no clothes don't nada, really pa... stand out that much. Especially not compared to this guy over here. <laughs> and by this guy over here... <laughs> yep, Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite Eso like no you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Princessin de Verertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Ars the Raven. And Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Pavonius' best friend. Mm. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Pavonius. Behold yeah. my people, your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair, for judgment by thundering retribution is nigh. No se me... And it shall surely purge the <laughs> sea. Um, que diga tanta excuse me. Don't mind her, just, you know... Let her do her thing. Excuse me. What's going on here? Oh, great. Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep and he won't wake up. Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now. So I shall take my leave. Adventures. I wish you every success in your bye bye. Okay. So what happened was we came here looking for someone and found them. Hey, no, he has a number. Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the disaster relief disaster relief station? You mean like a big tent with guards outside? Correct. We have established a disaster relief station at Wangshu Inn. Where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike can receive due medical attention. A wise decision by the Millilith. 
Mm-hmm. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We should really go check up on him. <sighs> I suppose I shall deign to join you for one further excursion. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Same situation as in Springville. This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Oh, heaven on high, tell us how we have angered you so. Hey, keep your voice down. There are a lot of people here. Might I suggest we make some inquiries and see where it takes us? Savios. Halt! Who are you? We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite strike. Do you mind if we take a quick look at... I see. Very well, Adventurers. You may take a look. Paimon wonders what he's dreaming about. <sighs> Probably that one about the... Fritz does not appear to be here. It's another sleeping victim. His soul is in anguish, ensnared by a thousand thorns. <sighs> His suffering is pitiable. Peace at last. Um... Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this, there is no hidden me- Come on, Fritz. Hmm. <laughs> Another sleeper. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel the cross of calamity by barbaric blades born of some. There is but one means of awakening those who. Precisely, main Fräulein. If we dispose of the meteorites, the sleepers will be sure to wake. This is so weird. That Millilith guy promised he was gonna bring Fritz here, didn't he? So. Hmm. Let's go see what the innkeeper has to. Excuse us, have you seen anyone come in that look- uh, The Millilith arrived with several new victims not long ago. Due to the limited capacity in the tent, I had to place the new arrivals in the upstairs guest rooms. Okay, well, could you give him a message when he wakes up? Tell him he needs to get back to the Dawn Winery as soon as possible, and let Adeline know that he's safe and sound. <sighs> I will be more than happy to. And if I may be so bold, adventurers, I too have a request for you. Please tell us, what is troubling you? Pray tell of thy troubles, that one might better understand them. I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you were investigating the meteorite. This made me wonder, perhaps my friends from Mondstadt have... Oh. From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the sleepers way back up again. Yes, yes. Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly... Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meat? Oh, wonderful. What is that? This meteorite is way bigger than the others. This doesn't end here. Harbingers nearby. You'll get what's coming to you soon enough. So the Fatui are investigating the meteorites as well? Even the Harbingers? This is too strange. We need to be extra cautious. The seeds of nefarious nightmares appear to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant, they return with a vengeance. <sighs> it would make a mockery of the majesty of the Princessin de Fertelung. Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue to fall relentlessly in each corner of your vast domain. In which case, I fear... The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort, have traversed a thousand worlds. 
And yet never before have I faced Me such a formidable... Bar, this so menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse has been placed upon the mortal realm. A curse? Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered longing. Lost amidst the unpredictability and impermanence of fate. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? It grieves me greatly. No matter how... Paimon didn't quite get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing. But basically, these meteorites are a curse? Were they not a curse upon humanity? Why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> to be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream. Tis the most Sandra, dreadful yeah, fate that, imaginable that, for that, any living. We must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can withstand even the sum of all of our powers combined. Traveler. Fetch me the one fated to face this fearsome foe. And who might the main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. She wonders if you Paimon can't think of anybody either. Maybe we should just go ask Catherine. Pregúntale a Catherine. Catherine. Catherine, the hour of destiny is upon you. I have invoked the sacred covenant between us, and now you must respond. Hmm. Let me see. Are you saying you require an assist? Whoa! She got it in one. Catherine must be super smart. Mm. Unfortunately, not. Though I do know of an astrologist. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? Cheap. Well, that simplifies things. Please wait. I will fetch her right away. Hmm? Someone looking for me? Who is it? Oh, it's you. So, what did you want? Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out as I have- So... Here's what- And all of this was caused by the meteor shower. This I was not expecting. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the fading twilight, only the princessin and her retinue still stand. Ms. Mona, your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all together then? I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nafodot, Princessin der Verurtelung, and I hereby extend to you the great honor of joining my retinue. Okay. Princessin der Verurtelung. I'm sorry, which nation are you a prince? I hail from a distant and long lost land known as the Imanachai. The in my what? Re <sighs> Alas, precious few mere mortals know of the Imanachai. Oh, mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I am a highly Ooh. accomplished astrologer. Just give me one second with my scry glass. Then we'll see where exactly this homeland of yours features in your person. Ms. Mona, I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Revisiting the tragic tale of the loca. surely a wise mage such as yourself can sympathize with a princess's grief. No, but... I'm going to regret all of it. Yes, you're quite right. So, the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up. See? Am I right? Understood. All right then, don't you worry. I will lend you a hand. First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. There's too much magical disturbance here. Let's head somewhere where the ley line flips. <laughs>